I'm Brian Cox, I'm a particle physicist. I work at the CERN lab in Geneva, the Large Hadron Collider, the biggest scientific experiment ever attempted. We recreate the conditions that were present in the universe less than a billionth of a second after the Big Bang, 600 million times every second. And this is Jeff. It's profound, so the content is, is really profound. Um, in that it touches on what is the very nature of space and time. So it's had to be more profound than that. What is the very nature of space and time? Uh, we wanted to show how physicists or scientists think about a problem, about how would you go about um, deriving that equation. Now, how could you get, how could Einstein in 1905, over 100 years ago, arrive at this conclusion that energy equals mass times the speed of light squared? So it also, I think, became, it is a book about how, in general, scientists think about problems and how they go about deriving equations. What Einstein's theory, the most remarkable thing that, 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 that Einstein's theory provides us with is it provides us with this possibility to, to, to travel to any distance in the, in the universe because it makes space malleable. So where we think that things are a very, very great distance away, actually if we could build a really powerful spaceship that would be travelling fast, the, the distance would shrink, that everything would come towards us and we'd be able to travel to the most distant reaches of the universe. In the book there's this, this thread, I hope, of, of why science is useful and why science is important. And, uh, and why it's very beautiful as well. Yeah. That's, that's why I do. And if, if we can get across in this book just a, a flavour of that, then I would be, you know, we'd have succeeded. So for me, that's the big passion, right, is, is that people should get to see how beautiful physics is.